We got up this morning at like 8 a.m. to come and have an empty beach so we could swim back and forth, get the endorphins flowing, and uh, yeah, start the day right. On our walk home, and look how beautiful this is. It's gorgeous. So clear. Oh, I think this morning in total we swam around 1k, which is for me very difficult. I'm gonna pull up a chair. Today we reach 1.5 million views on the YouTube channel. It's ridiculous. It's so cool. I did a degree in physiotherapy and I did a three year degree. And if I came out of that and went into a full time job, I would have been working nine till five, on call and evenings and weekends. And for me, that's not my passion. And I, I wanted to take the three, four years that I have kind of now where I don't have any baggage to try and create something and make something of myself. And this YouTube channel may never work. I make my living off personal training and it's because I enjoy training people. The point I'm trying to get at is sometimes we're scared to chase and go after something that we really want to do because we're scared of failing and what other people may think. And especially people my age, I feel people are too concerned about once you finish uni, you have to get a job, you have to get a mortgage, you have to get on property ladder. They spend so much time trying to make a life, they forget to kind of have a life and live it and do what their passion is and enjoy it. And I can't put into words how scary it was telling my dad that I wasn't gonna go and do physiotherapy and that I wanted to try YouTube and I wanted to just train people and that's how I wanted to live my life. Because it's kind of like, it looks like three years ruined when it's really nothing like that. For me, I just think if you have a passion, chase it. If you're good at something, put all of your effort into it. And if you have to have a job on the side to, to make a living, then do it. Like, find a way to make it happen and to live something that you wanna live. And just don't be afraid to fail. But anyway, now it's time to get changed, get ready, because today I think we're going on like a boat cruise around some islands to like a blue lagoon or whatever. And uh, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Time to go. See you guys on the GoPro. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean we have arrived at the Blue Lagoon. The water is like crystal clear. I think the only way to get in the water is uh It's really salty. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'll tell you something, this little piece of equipment is awesome. Oh, I feel really low. Wasn't too many clips of me swimming today. Open water swimming I get really nervous and uh, there was a strong current. This little GoPro only cost 150 quid and I thought I'd do like a tiny little review on it. In terms of image quality, you've seen it kind of, it's good, it's not like my DSLR, but for the price. It lacks a little bit in color, and if you do get kind of water on it, it does kind of stay on the screen, but then if you're looking at it, you can see that and wipe it off, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But it does have like a wide angle lens, which is absolutely awesome, so you can see everything that's going on, and the best thing is obviously that it's waterproof. In terms of like sound quality, it's good, but it comes out very, very quiet on iMac, 
and so I have to turn it up to like full blast to actually get the most out of it. For ease of use, I'd say this is like a 10 out of 10. All you do is literally press that top button there and it turns on within four seconds. And then when you're done with it, you press the button again and it turns off. The good thing about that is it actually saves the battery life. But for a holiday camera, this thing is sweet. If you want something for just like going around in the water and taking video, then I would highly, highly recommend this. If you're looking for like photos, it's really hard to set up on your camera because you have to connect it to your phone to take photos. But for like how small it is and how inconspicuous it is and how waterproof it is, 150 quid is very decent. Look at our little buggy. Can we get one? It's such a beautiful night. Like the sun's going down over there. And we're on our way to Prataris, which is just down this coastal path, like 15 minutes walk from our resort to go and get some some food. After we take a photo of Jasmine on the end of this pier because it's just incredible. So I did a little mini Q&A on my Instagram, and if you want to ask questions down below, just as we kind of gander around holiday and whatnot, just going to answer the questions as we go along. So we'll randomly pick them. Lewis Wood, have you ever had an argument during a training session, and how long have you been a couple for? Keep up the great content. Hell yeah, we fight. <laughs> and when working out, not usually, but if one of us is tired or hangry, or just having a bad day and we're not hitting anywhere near the numbers, then uh, we storm off from each other. Done it on numerous occasions. What? Look, cool. Crazy little bats flying everywhere. Tonight we went for the grilled chicken kebabs with tzatziki which is incredible, I love tzatziki, pizza and then chunky chips with a salad. I've gone for beef stufado, it's really good, Greek dish, it's like cubed beef in like a really nice tasty sauce. On our way home from the meal, it was really, really good. It's still like 20 degrees and it's 12 o'clock at night. It's just so lush walking past, like walking down the seafront and just hearing the sea. It's so calming. Wait, we're losing the light. But anyway, that is the end of this vlog. If you did like it, then do leave it a like rating. We're just gonna head home, go to bed, and then see what tomorrow brings. See you in the next one. <laughs> Nailed it. Good night, everybody. Go follow Jasmine on Instagram. Her Instagram is here. No, don't see that. <laughs>